guys today our topic is policemen so today we are going to draw a policeman step by step so for this you are going to need a pencil writing pencil I've got a pe black pen for outlining um, you got need a black colouring pencil and a yellow colouring pencil and that's it I think okay um oh oh yeah you need um skin color peach or i can't find my peach ah oh, there it is peach or a uh, brown for skin color and a hair color so peach or another shade of brown different shade darker okay let's just move this all out need my pencil right first of all we are going to go in the middle of our page at the top, not right at the top, because we need to get the policeman's helmet on. We're going to do a happy face, meow, all the way around. Like that. On top of that, we're going to do a sad face. So, but we're going to make the sad face a bit longer than the head. So we're going to go all the way over. Sad face. And make sure it's a little bit longer. Underneath that, we can do a happy face, join it up. Okay, so that means it looks like it's going all the way round his head. Next, we're going to do a diagonal and a diagonal in that side. And then we're going to do another sad face and join that up. Next bit, we're going to do for his helmet. Big side face this time. So we're going to go up, make sure it's above his head, not inside. So make sure you're just coming directly, jump over there, and then go round. Big side face and come down. Make sure you're in line there. Yay! So we've got our helmet. It's a bit of an old fashioned helmet, this one. Oh, I know what I forgot. I've done mine too tall. Hold on. Silly Miss Harris. Right, so I'm going to come up. Just make that a little bit shorter. Okay. Silly Miss Harris. Right, on top of that, I'm going to do a point. That's why I ran out of room. So hopefully you can see that. So on top of here, I'm just going to do a triangle. Just a little triangle shape up there. So what I'm doing is that on top. Okay. Just wrap that up. Next, in the middle of there, I'm going to do an example here again, so it shows you that it's bigger. So in the middle, you're going to do a circle in the middle of his helmet. A circle. And then we can add four triangles. So I'm just going to show you here because obviously that's going to be too small. Do that bigger. So then we're going to do a triangle on the top. Triangle to the side. Triangle to the bottom. Triangle to that side. Okay, so I'm going to do it on here. And you're going to do it in the little one. You're going to do the little one. So this is a no. And like that. So you're going to do that like that. Okay, so I'm going to rub my one out. Because we don't need that. Well done. Okay, let's draw the bottom of his head. Body. So underneath his head, we're going to go down for his neck. Down for his neck. We're going to do happy face, join that round. And just a little way up, because he's got his policeman's coat on, we're going to do another little happy face up near his chin. This time we're going to come out to the side. And out. Oops, can't do it that way. Out to that side. Make sure you're doing the lines about the same each side. Then we're going to come down. I might have just done that one just a bit longer. We're going to come straight down, do a square. So we're going to come down, across. Ooh, my paper's all wobbly. And come all the way down. So you can see I've got like a square shape. Next we're going to do bottom of his jacket. Oh, next we can do this bit. I always forget this bit. Do a line right across the bottom. And then we're going to go down and down for his belt. 
Okay, we'll do the rest of these buttons in a minute. We're going to come out to the side and out to the side. Then we're going to join that up. And join that up. Wee! Make it like a triangle, a sort of triangle shape, half a triangle that is. Just got the top missing. Okay, next underneath that, so you want to come down from his body, don't draw a line, jump over, and then we're going to come straight down, we're going to add his trousers on. So we're going to come down whoop, to the bottom. We're going to do a rectangle. I'm going to move my paper up because I can reach it then. We're going to come across. I'm going to do the same this side. So we're going to come down, jump over the triangle, and then join that all the way down to straight down to the bottom. So now we have a rectangle shape. In the middle of that rectangle, we've got to work out where the middle is. So I think the middle is about, oh, the middle of that line's there, the middle of the line, that line's about there. And then we're going to do a line all the way down the middle and join it up. Now he's got two legs. That looks cool, doesn't it? So we need to add his shoes on because policemen have great big black shiny shoes. So we're going to do nice big shoes. So on the bottom here, we're going to go big sad face into the middle. Whoops. Go into the middle and then do another big sad face. Yay, that's our triumph feet. And we're going to go back up to the top and I'm going to add his arms in this time. So we're going to go do triangle arms. He's going to have his arms behind him. I'm going to do like a V shape, so diagonal and diagonal back. Sometimes policemen stand with their arms behind their backs. And then they do that sort of knee squat sort of thing they, <laughs> that you see on the telly, sometimes they do. So in the middle of there, I'm going to just add a little triangle. Okay. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So I'm going to come across, diagonal. I'm going to come down. Whee! Yeah. And then my little triangle in the middle. Looking good, guys. Well done. You're doing me so proud. Okay, we're going to finish his jacket off. We're going to add all the buttons on. So, find one side, whichever side you want. I'm going to come down and do a line. Little way in. We don't want to go right up to the edge. A little way in. I'm going to come down. Jump over the belt. And then continue straight down. That's the opening for his jacket. Okay. Now we need to do his jacket opens on one side rather than in the middle. This time we're going to add the buttons. I'm going to go one button here. And one button over that side. Another button here. Now you ha see how big you've got. I've got room for... Probably one more row. If you can only fit, fit three down, then you just do the three and have six buttons all together. I can fit eight in. Okay, I've just got some extra lines here that I don't want. Let's just rub these out. Okay, right, we're going to add the face now. Okay, oh, I'm going to do one more button up here by his neck just so he looks like he's got. Um, buttons up at the top. Now we're going to do grown up eyes on this one. So we're going to go happy face, sad face. And let me show you on the example. Happy face, sad face. That's how we do big, big grown up eyes. Then we do a circle in the middle and then you can do your black dot. So circle in the middle, black dot. I'm going to do the same on this side. Happy face, sad face. Circle in the middle, black dot. Good, guys. Now, on the top of that, we need to do some eyebrows. Okay, so eyebrows, we just go over the top of the eye. We just do a sad face on that one. And a sad face on that one. Yay, he's looking good. 
Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a nose. So I do like a L for a nose. So we go down and across the bottom. It's like an L shape. Okay, next thing we're going to do is a mouth. Now, I'm going to show you how to do a grown-up mouth. Sometimes we just do mouths like that and just a happy face. But I'm going to show you how to do grown-up. So we do like a squashed M. So we go over, over. So it almost looks like you could, sometimes people do these like birds and you can do them like that or just like a squashed M or the top of a love heart. So you go over, over, really stretch it out. And what you do is you go round and join it up with a happy face. And that makes a mouth. So we're going to go over, over, join it round with a happy face. Now in the middle, we can, if you've got room, you can do a little line in the middle to make your top lip and your bottom lip. Okay? Now what we can do now is you can decide roughly what sort of hairstyle you want if you want a short one or a long one okay so if you want a woman you can do some long hair behind and if you want to, i'll do um do mine half lady and i'll do half man and you can pick which you want so you can copy and do it all lady or all man or shall i not i don't know you might get confused i'll do it as a man okay so what i shall do is i'm just going to do in some short hair down the side, and just a bit down the side, just a bit short here, okay, the rest of it's all tucked away and it's short underneath. Okay, right, next bit, we're going to get our black pen and we're going to trace over, now we've got to stay on the lines, no going wibbly wobbly, so I'm going to come round, round. Down. This pen might be a bit too thick for this. This is my chunky one. So down, stay on those pencil lines. This is really good practice. So we don't let our hands wobble. Well done. You are doing fabulous. Down, jump over. Do my nice buttons, make them all nice and shiny in a minute. And I'm going to do my arms tucked behind. Okay, then go down. Whoop. And we got round. Oops, let's do the top of the head. This is where I might need my thinner. thinner. Um, pen. This one might be just a bit too chunky for this. And there it is. It's not showing up all my detail. Okay, I'm going to change pens because that one's just not going to show my face up. Just, that's a bit better. Happy face, sad face, circle, dot. Eyebrow. Happy face, sad face, circle, dot, eyebrow. Help for the nose, squash the M. Happy face, join it up, and then we can do it with a thin line from the lip. Yay, well done. Done it. So, if you need to, if you've got any pencil marks that are showing, that you might have missed, sometimes we do miss a few when we're going over. Um, you can rub all your pencil lines out now while we've got the black pen. Okay, right, next I'm going to show you. So I'm going to use a colouring pencil. This I don't, I'm not going to use a black pen because I think a black felt pen can look quite hard against this. Okay, you could use it if you want to. So we're going to start by colouring the legs up and down. But we're not going to colour the shoes or the jacket. And we've got to stay inside the lines. So we're going to do that small colouring. So small colouring. 
means we don't go over the edge. If we do this big colouring, can you see what I do? I get those white gaps in the middle. And that makes me really sad. So we do small colouring so we don't get any white gaps. We don't like those white gaps showing. So up and down, up and down, right, careful around the shoes. We don't want to go over the line. Okay, well done, one down. Next one. Up and down, up and down, up and down. There we go. Up and down, up and down. Okay, superb. So, I'm going to just put a reminder at the side. Trousers, up and down. Shoes are going to go side to side. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my paper. I can't reach there because of the tripod. So, side to side. Don't go over the lines. We don't want to go onto the trousers. There we go. Try not to leave those white gaps. There we go. So we're doing shoe side to side, trousers up and down. Now the jacket. Oh, which way should we go? Jacket should be and down again which way did I go before yeah jacket's got to go up and down so watch so if I do oh I'll do a line in the middle arrow now so we're doing this we're not doing the arms so we're going up and down now this has to be small colouring not going to colour the belt in I'm going to go up and down now we've got to go small around these buttons. Mustn't colour the buttons in. So they've got to be a different colour. Small colouring. Keeping it up and down. Small, all the way around. Getting those white gaps. Do this side. And sometimes you might have to stop and sharpen your pencils. I know sometimes they get a bit blunt because we're keeping using this black for a lot of um colouring today mine's starting to look a bit blunt up and down up and down up and down okay so we're only going to do that bit of the body okay then we're going to jump over the belt and we're going to do this bit up and down okay so i'm going to start this side so you can see the arrow so just do the triangle shape up and down this is still his jacket. Up and down, 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 up and down. Yay! Oh, my arms are aching. Right, next bit. We're going to do our belt, but our belt is going to go side to side colouring. But we're not going to colour that bit in the middle because that's his shiny buckle. So we're going to go side to side and side to side. Make sure we don't get those gaps. Don't like those white gaps. Okay. Next bit, we're going to do the arms. So we're going to go the arms. Oh, let's go the arms that way and this way. And on this one, let's go that way. Okay. So I'm going to just go that way. Oh, got hiccups. This way. We could turn the corner and go right back the other way, but I think this will look neater and easier. Oh, can't colour that way. Hold on, let me twist it. So diagonal. So the arm's going that way. And the arm's going that way. These are going to look fabulous, guys. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Right, our collar at the top. And right, you're going to do the little, the side face at the bottom, side to side. So the collar is side to side. 
Okay, just that bit. Almost done. Right, last bit on the black is the hat. Okay, so we're going to do the hat. Ooh. Right, let's do the bottom bit side to side. And then the top bit up and down, but we mustn't colour the star in. Okay, so I'm going to do this bit side to side. And then this bit up and down. But be careful with the stars. We've got to do that small colouring. And up and down. Yay! Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, we're doing good. And I'm just going to do these little bits behind. almost done right next bit we are going to do we need a yellow for this bit okay we are going to color the buckle in and the bu buttons okay so we're going to color these and my pencil is going to break and color it yellow wings will color these in how they want to go ah oh, i've got to change now oh no 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 hold on let me just sharpen this quickly right, here we go so there we go so yellow yellow right next bit that's going to be yellow is our star at the top Nice big shiny star for our policeman. And we can do the bit on the top. Okay, looking good guys. And the last bit we're going to do, I'm going to do, oh, what colour should I do? Oh no, my pencil's just broken again. It's not very good, is it? Okay, what we could do, I'm going to do, um, you pick your skin colour this time. So you can use your peach or your brown. So I'm going to use brown today. So you're going to do your face. You can do it up and down. So you have to do extra small colouring on this one. Because we don't want um, to go over our eyes and our mouth. Okay, so go up and down. Oh, really tiny. And then I'm going to just do this little bit of the neck. Yay! Last bit we're going to do. Oh, I forgot to say, you need a red pencil. So just a little bit of red. Just going to do a bit for the mouth. And, oh, what have I got? Oh, I've got blue handy here. I'll do the coloured bit of our eyes. Blue! Yay! And then you just need a slightly different shade of brown. So I've got a different brown pencil. And I'm just going to do a bit of the hair at the side. Uh, I might do a little bit of a fringe coming over. Oh. A bit of that. Okay. If you want to do a police lady, you could do long hair. But make sure you colour right up to the neck. Okay, next bit we're going to do is, right, next bit we're going to do is, I've got, I'd like you to cut out your policeman, okay, and then I've got some backgrounds, so I found this background which I've normally map stick this one on to, it's just a load of lamp posts, um, I'll post this picture up so you can view it as well, but if not, Try and think where you would like, so you can cut it out, mount it. Where would you like your policeman to be? Think about your background. I'd like to see, um, you might want to do some trees and some grass and stand in the park or stand outside a building or something. But remember, sky goes across, grass and trees and everything go up and down colouring. Okay, so think about where you would like to put your policeman and think about the background 
I'll cut mine out now and I'm going to stick them on here and I'll post all my final pictures as an example up to you. Um, and have fun guys and I'll see if I can find some more pictures to that you can draw. Okay, see you soon. Bye.